Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Right, what I thought I'd do in today's video is to do another Tone X pedal video because I've just put it on my board and here's a shot of the board. Now I've been getting a couple of questions about the Tone X pedal and I thought I'd clear up a couple of things. A lot of people have been asking about the Tone X pedal and why it hasn't got an effects loop. And I'll just explain a couple of things why you don't need an effects loop with this. Now, if we think about other pedals that do a similar things, they don't model like this one does, but if you think about other pedals, things like the Strymon Iridium and things like the Universal Audio range of amp pedals, they don't have an effects loop either. So I don't actually understand why people are asking why this hasn't got an effects loop. It hasn't got an effects loop, but you don't need the effects loop. And here's the reason why. The way that I've got this rigged up at the moment is to go out of the Tonex pedal and it's going straight into my Axe effects. I'm doing all of my post amp processing, things like reverbs and delays after the Tonex pedal. And as I said, that's coming from my Axe effects system. But if you haven't got something like an Axe effects, that doesn't matter because most of us nowadays are using external reverbs and delay pedals. So all you have to do is to take the output straight out the Tonex pedal, go into the reverb, and delay however you want to do it and then send that to either your amp or to front of house. For me this is a much better way of doing it because the reverb and the delay is not going to get affected by the sound of the speaker and what I mean by that is is you haven't got like an effects loop on an amplifier where I'm running my reverbs and then those reverbs are running into the sound of a guitar speaker. A guitar speaker is not a full range speaker. You're losing loads of frequencies off the bottom of the top just by running it through a guitar speaker. So you can get a much cleaner studio type sound running it straight out of the Tonex into a reverb pedal. And I'll demonstrate that if I switch to a clean sound. So as you can hear, I've got my reverb and delay that's not coming from the Tonex, it's coming from my XFX. So that is the way that it's mainly done in a studio where you record the basic or the raw amp tone and then it's processed afterwards. And you're gonna get a much nicer or a much better quality of reverb and delay sounds by doing it in that way. So here's my pedal board and this is what I'm gonna be using live in conjunction with my XFX system. So I've had quite a few questions where people have been asking, are the amps in Tonex better than the XFX system? Well, that really depends on what you like, but personally I've modeled my matches and my Bearcat amps over there. And that's the sound that I want to play live with. I don't want to take those amps out. I just want to take the Tonex pedal and that's the way I want to run it. So yes, in my opinion, the amp sounds are better because I'm using my amp tones. If you want to download my amp tones, they're available on ToneNet, which is IK Multimedia's file sharing system. So next, let's just go through how I've got this set up. Now I'm using a Boss ES5 for this. This is connected via MIDI to the Tonex pedal. So every time that I change a patch, on the ES5, the patch is also changing on Tonex and it's also changing on my XFX system. So let's talk about the different patches of what I'm using. So there's my clean patch or break up as I've got it because it's just slightly breaking up. Now, depending what guitar that I'm using, I can control that through a boost pedal. So if I've got something like this Earthquaker Black Eye Boost and it's a lower output guitar, something like this Strat, I can give it a bit of a kick just by boosting up the input level. The Tonex pedal has got so much headroom in it that you can put boost pedals in front of it. I don't know how much you can boost it by, but I'm boosting here by a fair amount and it still sounds really good. If I take it out, and you're getting that amp light tone where as you drive the amp or the front end of the amp harder, it starts to break up a little bit. Next, I've got a crunch tone. And 
and that's coming from my Earthquake Devices Palisades, which is a, like a sort of souped up sort of tube screamer type sound. <laughs> Next, I've got probably the best pedal that I've played in ages. And this pedal is coming out on Monday, actually. It's by the Great Eastern Effects Company, and it's called the Focus Fuzz. Now, just before I demonstrate this pedal, I will explain a couple of things. This pedal is limited to uh, 250 pedals. So if you want one of these, I would highly, highly recommend getting in contact with the Great Eastern Effects Company because these are gonna sell out like hotcakes. They sound absolutely amazing. Basically what this is, is a germanium fuzz. It's got some Russian germanium transistor in it, which I don't think David from uh, the Great Eastern Effects Company can actually get anymore. So it's gonna be, as I said, a very limited run and it sounds like this. Now this is an amazing sounding fuzz that really retains the clarity of the guitar and doesn't sort of flub out. But everyone always asks in comments when I'm demonstrating a fuzz, how it cleans up when I back up the, uh, the volume on the guitar. So let's do that. Now, ever since I was sent this uh, a few weeks ago, it hasn't come off my board. It is just my favorite pedal at the moment. It just sounds absolutely fantastic. And it's got this focus control in it, which can take it from not a spitty sounding fuzz, but more sort of fuzz to, you get a bit more clarity out of it. And I'll say it again, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, but go and get one of these because, as I said, there's only 250 being made and I think they're going to sell at hotcakes and they sound absolutely amazing. Now, pedal number four is my sort of drive lead patch. Again, this is the Palisades, but unfortunately the Palisades hasn't got any switching on it, so I can't automatically switch over to uh, gain B. So I can have a light gain. I can switch over to game B for more drive. Now again, because I'm using MIDI, coming out the S5, going into the Tone X, going out the Tone X into my Axe-Fx system, Every time that I change a patch on the ES5, it's changing the effects on the Axe effects. So if I switch in pedal number five, now this is switching in a shimmer style reverb on the Axe effects system. <laughs> Another question that I'm getting asked about the Tonex pedal is when you're switching patches, is there a delay? So let's test that. What I'm gonna do is to pull out the MIDI cable for the Axe Effect system, and let's switch between the different patches on the Tonex pedal. <laughs> Now 
there's no noticeable delay switching between the two effects, but you can hear the different effects switching in. It'd be no different to actually stepping on a pedal. So there you go, there's a video demonstrating the Tonex pedal with pedals going into the Tonex pedal and also effects coming afterwards, which is exactly how I would run it anyway. If you're considering buying a Tonex pedal, and I don't like spending people's money for them, but if you're considering it, I would highly recommend it. It is honestly, I think probably the best thing that I've plugged into in years. It is so inspiring to play through. I'm not using any of IK Multimedia's uh, amp sounds that come with this. I've just modeled my own amplifiers, which as I said, are available on ToneNet, so you can download them. But this thing has definitely changed the way that I'm now recording guitar and playing guitar live. Anyway, I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio. So I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.